predstavljam Tonija Poškovića Hjuri Nas. Svjetske federacije Powerlifter-a, inače trener koji će nas upoznati s treningom snage i oporavkom od ozljeda. Odnosno rehabilitacije, nakon ozljeda. Ovo se ne odnosi samo na sportaše, ja ću pokušati prevoditi, nemojte mi zamjeriti, zamolit ću ovdje kolege da mi pomogu sa stručnim izrazima iz tog Powerlifting-a. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Coach Tony and I come from a background of strength training and powerlifting. Let's get into this. <coughs> Why you should do powerlifting? And what's powerlifting and strength training? It's, a, it's an individual strength sport combined of three lifts where the main goal is to lift as much weight as possible. The first lift is the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. Što je stvari powerlifting i što je to trening snage? To je individualni sport razvijenja snage koji kombinira tri vrste dizanja utega, a Glavni cilj je podići što veću težinu. Kombinira, a ovo bi bio čučaj, da sam dobro pravila, bench press bi bio potisak sa klupe i deadlift je mrtvo dizanje. To su te tri tehnike na kojima vidimo Tonija upravo ovdje, na njegovim natjecanjima. Ovo su ogromne težine, pa evo, ja sam zbilja Tonija zahvaljujem što će nam pokazati malo više od toga. Often people ask why powerlift? It stimulates natural human growth hormone, involves everyday movements as simple as sitting up and sitting down on a chair, and prevents a lot of injuries in athletes. Building stronger ligaments, it's important. This sport is a lot of fun to stimulate the production of hormonal growth, which is not important for our health. Uključuje pokrete koje koristimo u svakom danu. Pokreti poput ustajanja, sjedanja sa stolice, podizanja nekog tereta, podizanja djeteta, na primjer. I što je najvažnije, spriječava ozljede jer povećava snagu mišića, kostiju, ali i ligamenata, odnosno vezivno od tkiva, što je još važnije. It's also proven that it decreases diseases like uh, diabetes. And other health problems. It increases lean muscle mass and bone density. As well, anybody can do it. We're going to show in the next slides. Any, Sorry. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Any ages and any capability are able to do this sport. There's a place for all of you. It's a fun sport. You can choose to join a team or you can work on yourself. Either way, you're part of a worldwide community of lifters and similar thinkers. Iako individualni sport, zanimljivo je kod ovog sporta da se stvara jedan društvena, društvena povezanost, jedan osjećaj timskog rada, tako da se možete priključiti timu. Ja ću naglasiti kako to mi pokreće power lifterski tim ovdje u Mostaru, a možete raditi na vlastitom mjeli individualnoj snazi i trenutku. Here's a perfect example that anybody can do it. Here's my friend Reni, uh, daughter Matea. She's about to execute the squat. And it's 
here it's a photo of her executing the lift. Here is her performing the bench press as often known the main lift in the gym and every most fitness center. Here is Matea trying to perform the deadlift. You see the focus in her face. She's getting ready for the lift with perfect technique. And powerlifting technique is very important. Ona ovo može izvesti zato što je prvo prošla dugoročni trening gdje uopće nije dizala težine, nego je učila ispravnu tehniku. I upravo zbog toga djevojčica može bez problema podignuti ovaj utak. Here is Matea completing the lift with intensity in her face, as you can see. Ovdje vidimo intenzivno emocije, a pora nas je govori o ugljikohidratima, a ovdje vidimo emociju koju proizvodi samo činjenica da će uspjeti. There's not only youths performing this sport. There's people over 80 years old lifting on a worldwide platform. Here's Mr. Ron lifting 182.5 kilo. Squat. 182.5. 182.5. Yes. As well, we see all the women. Yes, as we saw with the Apollo slides, it's the grandma who, who did the omelets. As we can see, this lady, she's close to nine years old. She's lifting a deadlift of 195 kilos. Or with her back. As we talk, there's benefits into this sport, like the squats, it builds your strong leg muscle with all the anterior posterior chain. It builds strong ligaments and bone density as we talked earlier. Onda će biti puno manje prijeloma. There will be no so many injuries. Exactly. The bench press builds a strong upper body with all the muscle involved as the pectoralis, the lats, the tricep and the deltoids. Također, bench press to je to potisak sa klupe, to je ta tehnika koja može pomoći u izgradnji gornjeg i gornjih ekstremiteta, znači mišića u gornjih dijela. The deadlift builds a strong lower back that a lot of people have issues with lower back. Deadlifta, odnosno tog mrtvog dizanja, to ne moraju biti neke ogromne težine, ali uz ispravnu tehniku iz trenera možete ojačati mišiće sjedalnog dijela i donjeg dijela leđa. Yes, in North America a lot of physician therapists suggest to incorporate the deadlift and rehabilitation training. U Sjevernoj Americi, znači u Sjevernoj državama i Kanadi, liječnici često preporučuju ovaj tip vježbi kao terapiju za donji dio leđa. Let's talk about the physical health. 
A da vidimo što je to što može našem fizičkom zdravlju pomoći u sportu. As we talked earlier, stronger bones, stronger ligaments, stronger muscle overall. Importantly, it boosts serotonin, which is crucial for our mental health. Ovo je zbilja važno jer nas povezuje ponovo sa naša dva prethodna predavanja i sa lidnim i sa polanasovim. Osim što će zgraditi vaše čvrstoću kostiju, čvršće ligamente, bezimna tkiva, vaše mišiće razviti, potaknut će proizvodnje serotonina, što znači da će te biti sretni jer svi znamo da je to hormon koji nam pomaže osjećati se dobro. As well as skeletal health. It prevents osteoporosis and decreases chances of diabetes, as we talked earlier. Psychological and social benefits of this sport, as we talked with uh, the other uh, teammate, she talked about motivation. Powerlifting enhances goals in an everyday life. Uh, there is equality for women, which is very crucial in the world we live in, as they get the same standard as men. U tom sportu je jednakost u spolovima izražena, osobito zato što se jednakim standardom i principom treninga treniraju i muškarci i žene kad se pripremaju za nadjecanje. Discipline. With help of coaches and training programs, you get ready for competitions, you have a set goal. You want to lift a certain amount of weight, or as simple, you go into the gym and you have a set goal with a certain amount of weight that you want to lift. Također, što vam može biti izuzetno zanimljivo je da ćete radno sa svojim trenerom proizvesti sami sa sobom vlastitu disciplinu i onda ćete moći ostvariti sve cilje. Bilo da su to vaše sportske cilje, bilo neki osobni cilje, želite da dajte možda samo još jedan kilogram viška na potrebu. Most importantly, it teaches youth, as we saw earlier, to stay structured with the help of coaches and mentors and focus on their health and well-being. It creates a huge sense of community and belonging, as we see here on the picture of me lifting. You guys pay attention here. There's two guys watching for your safety. There's the coach here screaming technical cues, and you have other friends around screaming for you to lift, which is create a huge intense atmosphere as never experienced before. Ono što želi Toni izraziti je taj timski rad, ta povezanost posebna koja se stvara između cijelog njegovog tima. Ovdje vidite, osim njegovog trenera koji mu daje upute kako tehnički izvesti to, vidite dva člana koji se brinu za njegovu sigurnost i koji su tu u njemu na pomoć. S druge strane vidite njegove prijatelje koji navijaju za njega, bodre ga kako bi on uspio stvariti. How heavy is this? This is over 205 kilos. Tony, I want to put this out. This shows 250 kilograms. For a warm-up. Very impressive. As well, powerlifting pushes you to mental barriers that we see often in gyms. A lot of people stop to a certain weight and they don't want to progress. And that's a mental, mental huge aspect. It builds your character, and yeah. 
Ono što vas može pokrenuti u cijelom principu onog odnosa vi sa samim sobom, evo opet se vraćamo, mene je tako drago da je ovo povezano s Lilja s tvojim predavanjem, jer mnogi ljudi odustaju, kažu ovo je maksimum što ja mogu i više neću ići. Međutim, ova vrsta timskog rada i osobito ispravna tehnika od trenera može vas motivirati i onda možete ostvariti, kako je Lilja rekla, sve što zamislite. Ako ste to zamislili, to možete i ostvariti. Ok, now we're going to get into the misconception that a lot of people have concerning this sport. We hear often the squats are bad for your knees, they will wreck your knees. Često čujemo kako je čučan sa utezima jako nezdravi, kako će vam uništiti koljena, evo što to ni o tome ima reći. With a lot of experience, I would say mobility, technique and wrong footwear, as we see here, it's the number one issue. Onima koji pokušavaju baviti se možda ovim sportom ili možda jednostavno podizanje mutega, najčešći problem je njihova pokretnost, odnosno pokretnost zglobova, ovo se misli na zglobove, tehnika kojom izvode dizanje i naravno pogrešna obuća. As we often hear the bench press is bad for your shoulders, you should not be doing this movement as well. Bad technique and poor mobility is the number one issue. Što se tiče potiska sklupe, najčešće ljudi kažu da mogu nastrajati ramena od te vrste vježbe, međutim tu je presudna tehnika i pokretnost vaših zglobova. To znači da vaš trening prije samog stvarnog podizanja utega da biste ojačali, treba uključiti trening pokretnosti vaših zglobova. The deadlifts are bad for your back. We hear that a lot in gyms. A lot of trainers will not recommend this movement. But on the other hand, specialists will recommend this movement in North America. My answer will be lack of activation of proper muscle and poor technique will get you injured. Vraćamo se na mrtvo dizanje ili deadlift, popularni, i kažu da je on loš za leđa. To je najčešća predrasuda, međutim njegov odgovor je da ako se neispravno aktiviraju grupe leđih mišića, onda dolazi do ozljeda, naravno praćeno sa lošom tehnikom. Tehnika je presudna, a moguće je naučiti isključivo s profesionalnog trenera. Imali smo jedan video, ja se ispričavam, zbog tehničkih razloga ne možemo prikazati video, ali Evo, to mi će završiti sa sličnom pričom kapitalizija. Meni je tako drago da se vaše dvije. Your two presentations are so interlaced. It's like, you never met each other. Oni se prije nisu nikad upoznali, ovo sasvim tu će nas dogodilo. Ali to je to zato što su treneri. It's because your coaches and coaches think alike. Yep. Here is my biggest motto, my quote. Claim your own mountain in powerlifting, that's all about. It's your progress, your own weight, there's no rush, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. U ovom sportu imate sebe i protiv sebe se natječete. Ne natječete se protiv drugih ljudi, ne uspoređujete se s drugim ljudima. Ovo ne radite na kratke staze, nego na duge staze. Ovo shvatite kao maratonsku trku, a u stvari trku sa samim sobom.
pristupiti i nikad to ne raditi bez premjera. Tehniku će vam pokazati, a postoje recimo čak i ta neka oprema, the white box. Box box, so it will basically stimulate... To su drvene kutije koje vam mogu pomoći da izvedete ispravno tu vježbu, naravno uz to što vam može trener pokazati. Tako da tada nećete uopće imati problema sa hrskavicom i sa uopćenito sa zdobrima. Širokim širokim stav, nije nekako širokim stav. Ok, ja sam razumjela da se radi o nekom white stand. White stand. Ja se zbilje spričavam, ja nemam pojma o detektivu. Meni je ovo najteže bilo prevoditi, a pola nas ovo je bilo prejednostavno. Naime, on hoće ti reći kako je bitan stav. Treba raširiti noge i da je u tom slučaju položaj, odnosno pritisak na zlogove znatno manji. Pravilnom tehnikom kako izvoditi. Did I explain correct now? Wider stance will focus less on the flexion of the knee, and the the force, the gravity will. Can you show? She said if you can show. Neka pokaže. Zašto? Znači da je neki širi stav. Pitanje je treba te. When you have a wider stance, you have the bar a little bit lower. When you execute the weight, the weight goes more in your hips, so there's less flexion in your knees. You see, my knees stay over my toes. Puno je manji pritisak na bokove i na koljena. Podijeli se. And I chučan with my knees. There, all the pressure with the bar on your shoulders goes on your knees. Therefore, I have different approach to squatting when it comes to injuries like that. I think it would be appropriate to Give the lady your card, maybe she would be interested to join your group. Yes. Coach Tony is available in Mostar, so ako želite, možete je, stupiti u kontakt. Uh, Tony će biti određeno vrijeme u Mostaru, pa možda možete trenirati s njim. Zašto ne? Well, I would like to pass the microphone to Rasolo. He is a prime example. He had knee injuries and he couldn't squat. Together. A pola nas dolazi iz backgrounda košarkaškog. On je dugo godina igrao košarku profesionalno, još kao ne teenager, nego to su bili juniori. Osvojio je, da, osvoje prvenstvo Grčke. Međutim, ozlijedio je koljeno. Jako ozlijedio koljeno i više se nije mogao baviti košarku. Kad je krenuo na trening kod Tonija, no, you, Tony wants you to say about your knee. Yeah, yeah, definitely. When you are doing uh, so many years, we're jumping around. You know, it's difficult when you have uh, so hard trainings and basketball. It is all about uh, uh, bouncing. Okay, yeah, so it's difficult because koshati, su pokreti uvijek orijentirani na koljena i na ligamente noga i najčešće na strada. So this is the actual developing that we call in jumper and jumpers and in the. Actually, in uh, orthopedics. Jumpers and. Jumper, jumpers and. And. Yeah, uh, actually, the ligaments are destroyed around the. Uh, Ligamente, to neka skakačka. Claudia, kak to prevesti? Skak. Ne, ne, skaka, skakački N. Šta je N? Uh, no, in the knees, the ligaments actually. Uh, because blood cannot go there, there's not case uh, actually to Aha. treat them. Aha, ligamenti kad se ozljede, nemoguće je znači trendirati na taj način, a najčešće se događa kod košanke. So anyway, when I started with fitness bodybuilding and these things, it was really difficult for me to squat and when you are talking about weights, it's mainly to increase your weights slightly so you're gonna have bigger growth. On nije htio prekniti trening snage, htio je nastaviti trenirati snagu, međutim bilo je nemoguće sa tako ozljeđenim koljenima, sve tehnike koje on pokušao nisu radile. And since I worked with Tony together in the gym in Arena, uh, he showed me the proper technique, uh, how to squat properly and uh, for first time in my life I made my uh, best actually uh, my personal record uh, in squats. Uh, kad je krenuo raditi s Tonijem, Tony je njegov trener inače, uh, krenuo je raditi s Tonijem i dogodilo se pomalo čudo, njegov osobni rekord sa ozljeđenim koljenom podigao je težinu od how heavy was your personal? 105 kg for 2 reps. 105 kg dva puta je ponovio, znači repeticija dva puta, sa ozljeđenim koljenom. To je sve do tehnike. 
i više bolova nema u njih. I think when you have a, you need to approach a professional person, an expert in it to have the best results. Without you have experts and going alone, I think you are taking your own path. Naravno, koliko god važna ta tehnika bila zbija, je važno imati trenera koji će vas paziti cijelo vrijeme, imati u vidu radite li ispravno ili tehnika ispravna i naravno biti vam na pomoći u trenutku treninga. Ako nešto krene krivo, trener će preuzeti težinu. Ali što je tu jako još važno? Apolonasov, ketogeni, odnosno karnivor. Prehrana koja je pomogla ozdravljenju njegovih ligamenata. Koljena ga ne bole od kako je u stvari prešao na tu dijetu, a još je trening onda pokazao kako jedno i drugo I just said that your diet helped with the pain in your knees. Bila je velika ozljeda u pitanju, on se profesionalno prestao bat košarkom jer nije bilo spasa. Lječnici su rekli to se ne može više spasiti. Neće se vratiti u košarku, ali tu je Stonija da razgradi sve svoje druge fitness mogućnosti. So definitely we're gonna have in Grigos Kito an extra Uh, actually a new subject about powerlifting, we're going to have a new sector, so Tony is going to be our guest, uh, we're going to upload the videos, we're going to have uh, videos of powerlifting in our YouTube channel, so you're all, all welcome to send us uh, questions and uh, to contact us. Možete nas kontaktirati preko Grigovskita stranice, Toni i Apolo nas će otvoriti sada jednu novu sekciju gdje će pisati, Apolo nas će čak pisati znanstvene članke o tome kako se može uz pomoć djete i uz pomoć ispravnog vježbanja ozdraviti u potpunosti. Obojica su vam na raspolaganju, ja ću vas sad najljepše zamoliti da se malo odmorimo, da vidimo ima još nešto naših izlagača i da nam se opet pratite, pogledajte dokumentarac, ovo je europska premijera. Dobili smo ekskluzivno pravo prikazati ovaj dokumentarac. Emi nadraživani, nagrađovani, izvolite, ali imate pitanje? Just one question for Tony, are you on keto food? Pardon me? He just started. He just started. Yes, I started keto, ketogenic diet. Not a long time ago. No, no, no. no. Uh, what do you think if you uh, be on keto food and train like you train? Good question. My, my, my well-being? No, what do you think? Can you be on keto and do powerlifting? Maybe it's time to mention the keto powerlifter. What's his name? Uh, uh, There is a person who is... A oh, Mark Bell. Mark Bell. Mark Bell, yes. Znači, to je uh, powerlifter koji ima velike rezultate. Jedan od svjetskih američkih powerliftera koji je na ketogenoj djeti već dugo i koji radi nevjerojatne uspjehe u tom sportu. Yes, it's possible to be a keto... It's very possible, actually, because with fats... Pardon me? I don't believe that's why I'm asking. That you cannot achieve certain numbers with ketogenic diet? No, I tried. Okay. Okay. I trained CrossFit. Okay. And I can do the best of my training when I'm okay. That's why I'm asking you because... Uh, like, can I go and say something? You are doing high high intensity cardio. Do you know how many energy systems there are in the body? Three. There is the, uh, actually the aerobic system is one. And there are two anaerobic. The alactic and the lactic. When you want to make alactic, which means you need to make really quick something, the sprinters. Why the sprinters are so massive, for example, you say involved and all this over 100 meters compared to the runners? Because they are utilizing carbohydrates. That you are saying is because of carbohydrates. And when you are talking about something which is for a long time, well, as I just show you the slide if you remember of these calories, but to make this possible, For a long time, you need to be really fat adapted, even if you are a crossfitter, for example. If you are uh, uh, implementing carbohydrates, uh, sometimes here, sometimes there, your body is getting confused. You're never going to be fat adapted. Not to be in ketosis, not to be in keto, to be fat adapted. Any moment that you are sitting and you're not consuming any food, your body is going to have your own fat as energy. It's really important. And a lot of athletes cannot achieve that. Yeah, This is the main problem. Ovo je zbilja zanimljivo što je rekao. Da biste ostvarili uspjeh u sportu, osobito u tih sportima koji uključuju dosta i kardiju vježbi, morate biti fat adapted, odnosno priviknuti na sagorjevanje masti. Nas troje smo jeli samo doručak i ništa više cijeli dan. Organizacija je trajala cijeli dan, nismo glavni. Are you hungry? No. 
We have fought up to us to live in Ketomediteranski,毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛毛